What's going on guys? It's Carl here back with another episode. We are getting to some fancy GoPro testing today. This is the Hero 5 block, the Hero 5 session. We've got an interesting little disc which we will test out some footage outside, of course. Before we take that little trek, there are some key physical differences between both of these. The first being the price, $399, $299. That extra 100 bucks is getting you a touch screen on the back, a swappable battery in case you run out of juice, you can always swap them. Whereas on the Session 5, it's all built in, so you always have to charge it. Next major difference is mostly to do with frame rates. Both record though at 4K 30 FPS on the Session 5, 1440p 60 FPS, whereas the Black has higher frame rates at 80 FPS, 1080p, 90 FPS on the session, whereas the black can do 120 frames per second. So if you are super into that slow-mo action stuff, maybe the black might be for you. Just maybe. And the extra little features here mostly geared towards pro and professional users. So naturally we do have the touch display, stereo audio, and mic. Mic? Mic. I call it mic. Mic? Mic? Mic. A mic input. Now all you people in the comments are happy. Location, GPS tracking, and you can record in RAW, which is key if you plan to grade all your footage over on your computer. Both though have optical image stabilization built in. Let's go take this cam, go outside, and test out some footage. All right, so we just got outside now. We've got our fancy GoPro contraption. We'll probably be filming at 4K 30 FPS, as that's the best quality. We've got the Hero 5 Black, Hero 5 Session, going in and out of sunshine. Okay, that was a little walk through my area. We're gonna now try to mount these guys to the vehicle to see some shots that we get, because I'm sure most of you, some of you, will be car mounting. All mounted up, hopefully this little disc stays on. Let's see what these guys can do. thoughts if you think the black is worth the extra 100 bucks if you're looking at the session 5 I would have loved to see this at 200 250 bucks I think 299 is slightly too expensive but I'm sure this will go down as time goes on as they naturally do I know last year the session retailed for 300 bucks and within a couple months it dropped to 200 even 150 depending where you got your deal if you can hang on wait for that price drop this one might be for you on the other hand, I loved having the LCD screen on the back. You could see what you're shooting. Touch display was super easy to use. Plus the fact that you can swap your battery as they don't last too long. The versatility of the black also might be better for you. 
Regardless though, I will probably only end up keeping one of these review devices, so let me know down below in the comments which one of these you would prefer, and after my full review on both, I will probably be doing a giveaway, so make sure you stay posted to the channel, smash that like button as it helps me out a ton, and I will catch the rest of you in either one of my next episodes or in one of my vlogs. Peace.